Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some more undeliverable mail mystery boxes from Lost Loots. Now before we get into the boxes, let me tell you my story about how this all went. So you guys were telling me about them. I saw a bunny got a box and I was like, you know what? I'll try to get a box. Now when I went to try to get the box, they were sold out, whatever. Went back again later. They said they were dropping more on Thanksgiving. So I was like, perfect. I'll go back on Thanksgiving. So I went back on Thanksgiving. They were doing 10% off your first purchase. So I was like, okay, they're $95 a box. And then they're between seven and 13 items inside of them. All supposed to be undeliverable, unopened mail. So nobody knows what's in it. They don't know what's in it, whatever. So they bought it. And then the next day on Black Friday, they did 25% off or 30% off. I can't remember. And I was like, dang it. So I bought a second box. A couple days later, they had the whole, you know, FedEx sent shipment, sent, to, sent the uh, label waiting for shipment. And I was like, this is good news. Then a week went by. And I was like, is this another We Bargain adventure where they never actually send it out? And when you call them, they'll tell you it's coming soon. Well, no phone number. There's no phone number for them to call. So at first I started out doing like that chat where you can chat right now. Nobody ever wrote back. Then finally I emailed them from their website and after I think like a week they messaged back saying oh so sorry you haven't received your item we'd like to offer you a free refund and 30% off your no your next um purchase you know so sorry about this but the best way to contact us is Instagram so I was like all right fine first I wrote back on the email I said yes I would like a refund why is this thing not shipped blah 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 so then I went to Instagram and I did the whole thing all over again. I was like, you know what, where's my package? It's going to be coming. You said that you'd give me a refund. You know, um, I like the refund. It's not going to be shipped out soon. Um, and then every day after that, I just sent him a question mark for like five days. It was like question mark every day, question mark, question mark. Then finally they wrote back and they were like, so sorry about the delay. We've had to do a whole bunch of refunds. They sent me a picture of each of the refunds been done they're so sorry about that here's a code to save you 30 percent off your next one if you'd like to try us again i was like okay you know work comes to worse not a big deal i um got a refund i'll just call it a day went and checked my my bank credit card statement it said that both the things from lost loose that were getting refunded didn't think anything of it never checked back again then a couple weeks later first box showed up then a couple days later the other box showed up so then i went and looked at my credit card statement and the refund was gone it was like it was pending when it was there. And I guess maybe they shut it off, the pending. And so I wrote them back again on Instagram. I was like, what the heck? You know, they're like, oh, we're so sorry. You still will be getting your refund. We're just really backed up. We have 2,000 people we have to refund. And American Express is not, um, is saying it's going to pend and take a long time. But we sent you the boxes just because we, we wanted to be nice. Now it's been another four or five days. No refund. So I'm believing in my heart of hearts, that this is just another scam. Now, another reason I'm going to tell you as we're going through this first box, was the first box I did open when it came, because I was like, let me just see what's inside. And Rob wanted to see too. And when I showed, I was like, Rob, this isn't what like you would expect under a literal mail to be. And he then he showed me something, which I'm going to show you soon, that shows that this is a scam. Now, all this completely up to you. This is my opinion and Rob's opinion about what I think about this. But without further ado... And I think I am going to contact my credit card company because you know what? I'm getting tired of this. Okay. I'm getting tired of being scammed. This is probably my last time trying undeliverable mail unless I get it straight up from the USPS. So opening up the first box, this is what you see. So the first two items look exactly the same. Not in any type of undeliverable mail package. We'll open it up. What's the shape and size? Size 7. I'm guessing it's for a child. Luckily, I did decide that I'm going to... Actually, by the time this video comes out, I may have already done it. Go to the flea market and set up a thing. Because I just have so much stuff from these boxes that it's just I need to just get rid of. This is the whole set for a child, size 7. Oh, pants fell out. Which, cute and all. Got the tag on it still. Probably from Wish. But, it's not in a package. These things should be in packages. Like, the whole thing is under liberal mail. Like, this one says it's IZOD, IZOD.com, size 7, that says $64. I mean, I'll try to sell it for, like, 5 to $10 and see what happens. Because, like, I'm not trying to, like, you know, rob people. But it's, like, 
Is that undeliverable mail? <laughs> and then, where did I put my scissors? So I'm going to show you one of the ones that Rob, well, Rob showed me how scammy this was. So this looks like, you know, an address that was marked all the way out. Like if you saw this, you would think it's an address marked out. But if you look closely, you can tell that this is just printed. So they printed, that's what Rob told me, because Rob, Rob's in IT, Rob knows all this stuff. This is just printed on. So it's like, it's not like it was marked out. Like this was done on a computer and then printed out and it's stuck on. Meaning that they're kind of illegitimately making tags and saying these things are undeliverable mail. So like all they need to do is get a little package like this, stick a little fake thing on with this, and now boom, it's an undeliverable mail. And not only that, a lot of these in here are just in like bags like this. So I'm, I'm, I'm already saying it's a scam. It's not gonna be worth $95 or whatever I paid with the percentage off and I will not be ordering from it again. I'm not even gonna link them in the description box because I feel like I don't want you guys to get bamboozled. But let's see what we got. I mean, I guess if these things were $64, you scored. But yeah, yeah, we're buying under liberal mail. So we got, it says memory. I have a feeling it's going to be like all like wish items. <clears throat> Just like the Wii Bargain stuff was. Oh, thank you card in there. This is a wallet for to my husband. <laughs> Wish not everybody's gonna need that. With the wallet and a place for cards right here. And they wrapped it up nicely, but was it really under Google Mail? Now I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I expected things to be a certain way when I get under the Google Mail. But that's just me. I'm not being I know I try not to be super negative on this channel. And I do love a mystery, so it is what it is. But I just want to help you guys see and know kind of what you got. So this one right here, nothing on it. No addresses, no nothing. If this flea market thing goes well, I might do it again. <laughs> Alright, so now we have this right here. Looking like they're... Mo Empow Flame Light. Bluetooth True Earbuds. These right here. I mean, they're brand new. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to look it up and see if I can find these on Amazon. So the scanner didn't work on Amazon. But I found the MPOW website. It looked like a Chinese website. And they were going for $29.99. But it looked like a straight up like website. Like you would go to like Sheen and stuff like that. And the next thing I'm pulling out. Yet again, also not in a package. And is a soap ditch. Marbleized. I mean, maybe the second box will be epic. So I'm not going to talk too much smack before I, you know, whatever. And that's this. I mean, it's not bad stuff. It's just not exactly what I expected. I expected undeliverable mail, not random packages thrown inside of thing. This is really heavy. My mom uses soap. Maybe she'll want this or I'll put it at the flea market, see if I can sell for a dollar or so. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's another one, completely just in blue packaging. Which is exactly what we bargained in the last one. And I'm still waiting on that package one, <laughs> the uh, undeliverable packages, which I believe will never arrive. Now we got a car seer. And if I sell these stuff at the flea market, it'll be like one dollar, two dollars. <laughs> car seer. Pretty neat case. That's actually a pretty legitimate case. Car seer. Has a thing like that. Oh, these are like prescription. These are like prescription or something. What is this? 
Use the blue light to illuminate the test area for 10 seconds. Then place the car seer computer glasses on the test area. Illuminate the test area with the blue light through your glasses. These are computer glasses. Filter out high energy blue light that protects your eyes. Let me see if I can look these up. So the actual like link on the thing would not show up on Amazon, but I looked up and I saw a lot of these were in between $7.99 and $19.99. They seem prescription to me. Doesn't say made in China. So we got those. And there's something at the bottom. Just a cord randomly. I don't know what this is. So it's just a cord. That's what it looks like. Is it a Wi-Fi extender? Is it something to charge your phone? That was that. And then the final item in this is this gigantic one, which also has the same thing. See how you can tell it's not really marker? That it's actually just done on there. And again, all I'm doing is showing you this. This is not... I'm not going to tell you, you can do whatever you want with your money. I just like to show people kind of what is out there. And some of these items are not bad. Like, could have got even worse inside of actual, you know, mail. But if you're going to sell mystery boxes that are undeliverable mail, actually have it undeliverable mail. Well, this looks neat. Ursula Tech's bathrobe. It's gonna be a huge bathrobe. Machine washable, non skid, super absorbent. So we got a huge bathrobe. Doesn't match anything at my house. But it's soft. It does feel comfy. Flea market. <laughs> Um, so that's box number one. Was it worth the 80? This would, this would be the $86 one or something like that. Was it worth that? That's up to you. You make a decision. I, on the other, am just still kind of a little irked. <laughs> that's just me. This one seems a little bit heavier than the other one. This is the one I got 25% off of. Or 30, I can't remember. So made it like 60 something. This is reasonable. I think... All mystery boxes that have like seven to something items should be like sixty dollars, not like a hundred dollars. So it's kind of like the same thing in here again. Ugh, that's what I'm saying. We got some things in wrappers, some things not in wrappers. The first thing we have a pair of super comfort slippers. They're very comfy. These are in size seven, eight. They are very comfy. I'm not gonna lie about that. They're very soft. And this is by Dina Lives Ultra Soft Comfort Memory Foam Slippers. A little memory foam. I mean, I don't think I wear these, but yet again, not in a bag. Like not in a thing. I'm not gonna look up everything. But we got those. Shelly got those. Yeah, we'll wait till the end to look up some of this stuff. Next we got this. Like a brush and comb set. Who used a brush like this? Remember that back in the day? Everybody had brushes like that with that rubber. Everybody had those brushes. Not anymore. So pretty much, this probably worth, I don't know. Two dollars? Three dollars maximum. These you can get probably for 50 cents. And it's like weird at the top. But got that. Another item not actually in a bag. For a mail. Another. Like you can tell. You can tell that's not physically written, written out. That is computer done on a computer. That was one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we have nine in this one. We have one really big item. Now 
Next, we got some V Nan SSD 970 Evo Plus. One terabyte. I mean, a Samsung. They made in China. Chinese at the bottom right here. I'll look all this up at the end. I can all write them down. Next, we got this. Just call it a mystery box. Don't call it <laughs> an undeliverable mail. Just call it a mystery box. That teeth on it? That teeth? Should I know what I'm looking at? That clothes all the way. Is it something you put around your neck and then you like close it a little bit? Hey, Margaret. <laughs> Next we got this is a game phone classic 3D classics. This is the iPhone 6, 7, or 8. Like Nintendo phone case. I mean, these items aren't bad. They aren't bad. They're a little bit better than the Wii Bargain. Next we got this. Made in China. Looking like a flag? But is that the like the police officer one? Like the blue line one? I'll open this one. I mean, that's a pretty decent sized flag. The other one's gotta be huge. Let's see what size is on it. No. But this one definitely has like embroidered ones on it, whereas this one's just like that. This is definitely a higher quality, and this is a lower quality one. Market. And now we got some two. We actually have two big things in here. A portable dual fuel glass stove. I'm not gonna lie, that should be something that's like handy in life if you get like you lose power or something. I'm gonna see if Rob wants me to keep this. Oh, it has a thingy on it. I'm gonna slide it off nicely so that just in case we do, I do bring it to the flea market. This can bring a money maker. I open it the wrong way. Well, that's not a bad one. Definitely looking that one up. So much over here. And then we have one more final item. And this is a two-way go anywhere. Talk about Motorola solutions. Looks like it was in the opposite way and they turned it back around. Like everything is not how it's supposed to be in here. Like they put it in the wrong way. That goes like that. That goes like that. And then I don't know what's supposed to be there. We got some walkie talkies. Alright, so this box went back. Not undeliverable mail the way that they, they presented to be, but not that bad. Now, it's time to go look and see how much this stuff costs and see if I can make some money back. Before I do that, I was wondering where Paco was, and Rob, when he made the bed, he made, put the other pillow behind the other pillow, and now Paco's like hiding back there. Paco! Paco, you want a treat? Paco! He's like hiding back there. Anyway, okay, I'll be back. We did not do that bad in this box. <laughs> I'm still not buying from them again, but these walkie-talkies on Amazon were $109. $109 on Amazon. I don't know if I need to test them out or whatnot. This I couldn't find. And then I looked up this uh, burner, and it was on their actual website. I couldn't find it on Amazon, but on their actual website, it was $49.99 for this. And then this SSD card, if it's actually legit in here, on Amazon was $124.41. So with all this is legit and all this stuff actually works, that wasn't that bad. Still unhappy with the service and still um, don't think I would try them again. 
Maybe if I was feeling like saucy and I got this one day if I get rich, I'll buy them again. <laughs> but I mean, at least I have some things to sell at the yards at the flea market, and maybe I'll try, try to sell a few of these on like Facebook Marketplace that are really expensive first before I go, and then see if I can make a little money now because I just need to make back some money from these mystery boxes. <laughs> My credit card bill came, and I was like, Stop buying mystery boxes, Melissa. Why is that your addiction? <laughs> so I had a lot of cleaning up to do. More since we get ready for a little adventure I'm going to have. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, I think today's the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye!